area clean of trespassers.
should be able to help re-establish that encrypted link to our guy on the inside. Hey, Tammy, you read me? I've been briefed by the Commissioner, and I'm standing by. You know what to do? We'll tackle the surface fleet first, and then you'll let us into the hangars. And, uh, it's nice to hear your voice again. At least now I can act like myself around you. We need to act quick. I think security might be on to me. I'm worried they might suspect me after your last visit, and that my movements have been monitored. I understand. The Commissioner will be here shortly, and you'll be in safe hands.
the saboteur. They're onto us. Better hurry this up before they can mobilize. with success. They will very likely crash. Hive, see if you can get me to broadcast directly to the miners' channel so we can warn them. Their channels are blocked. You just ordered innocents to their deaths. Those miners had nothing to do with the politics involved. If you become a pawn, you become part of the game. Once they signed the GMB contract, they signed away their right to exist beyond what I tell them to do. Dude, I really want to kill this guy now. We'll let the commissioner take care of him her way. Right now, we need to concentrate on making sure that fleet stays grounded. And for that, we need to get inside and destroy their equipment. Okay, Tammy. We've disabled the mining craft. Can you get us in so we can wreck the Viridium mining drills? I've opened the first door for you, but I'm not sure what more I can do. 
They're on to me. My clearance has been revoked. <sighs> Looks like my time is up. We need to get you out of there right away, before they get their hands on you. Ghost, can you manage an extraction and bring Tammy safely back to base? You got it. Tammy, get to the dock ASAP. Sorry your cover got blown, Tammy. At least I got to do some damage beforehand. Was the moment I had been waiting for. You have favored them so much of late. Well, nothing works better for getting into those unreachable places. I have to admire your ingenuity to an extent. You're not so different from my Roslyn at all. Admit it, Blakemore. Seeing your plans go up in smoke must sting a little. A small setback. All this equipment, miners included, can be replaced in a short time.
just need to steer this little guy right into one of those vents down there. Plenty more where that came from. If at first you don't succeed, drone, drone, and drone again. surrenders without too much fuss. I've got him just where I want him. Now is the moment to apprehend him while he is at his weakest. It's time for the fleet to exert its authority on this matter. Your aid has been invaluable, Mr. Roslin, but you need to step aside and allow the weight of galactic law to do its work. Well, let's see how this goes down with the locals. Attention, this is Commissioner Hawk of the Colonial Fleet. The GNB leadership is to relinquish its position at once. This is your only warning. I had a feeling it was you behind these nuisance incursions all along, Hawk. You are well beyond your jurisdiction and are overstepping your boundaries. Here in the DMZ, I call the shots. Oscar Blakemore, you are to present yourself at the docking area for immediate arrest. You have no powers here, and to prove that point, here is my authority to take you into custody. What's going on? Elites using wormholes? Surprise, surprise. Damn it. They seem to have received weapon upgrades too. And Ghost is gone with the mainframe disruptor. Oh, this is real bad. Command your elite units to stand down at once. If Commissioner falls into Blakemore's hands, nothing will stand in his way. successfully disabled the Commissioner's cruiser. This is just getting worse. One more hit and I'm done for. Units, hold your fire. Now whatever malicious software you hit my mining fleet with surely has reversal codes. So I'm going to ask you nicely. At first, give me the codes or the Commissioner dies. And then you die. Don't do it, Adam! Killing a fleet officer would really be crossing the point of no return, Blakemore. Give up while you can, and end this craziness. You are not in a position to be making demands. Your deaths will be my pleasure. Boss, wait. Let me handle this. I believe I can persuade our visitor to hand over the codes. All I need is to jog his memory and help him set his priorities. If it saves time, do it. I'll keep the Commissioner here as collateral. After you, brother. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you need to see. Let's just say... 
back to where it all began. You remember this place, right? Where we were created. Yeah, unnerving, isn't it? A proper family reunion. Why did you bring me here? I wanted to show you the handiwork of your Commissioner Hawk. She did this. Shutting down cloning facilities was a fleet directive. We are an embarrassment to keep concealed from the homeworlds, but you know that. Hawk has been using that as leverage against you, and playing you for a fool. You've been working the wrong side. You've forgotten where we belong. Our future is in the Beltagrades, and with GNB. You obviously have no understanding of what's at stake here. You can't touch the comet. It'll mean war. Millions will die. Once we have the Viridium, we can handle the Okar. I wouldn't be so sure of that. With enough of their sacred resources, we can match Okar technology. That wormhole tech was just a taste. Blakemore is a visionary. Under his leadership, the Beltagrades can be its own entity. I don't think that would serve anyone but himself. Do you want to waste your existence in obscurity? I know you, as well as I know myself. You want to be a part of this. It's in our DNA. But at what cost? We are the perfect vessels for a new era, and together we could achieve marvelous things. Being clones doesn't make us genetically superior. We might share the same DNA, but we're really nothing alike at all. It's disappointing to find you so unreceptive. We're the last, you know. All our brothers gone, dead. We could have made the perfect team. Is this how you do your bargaining? I really don't need you, you know. The virus you uploaded is only a minor setback. Let me spell this out for you. I will dismantle the life you have built, your pathetic den, and the degenerates you collected within it. Unless you hand over the codes. Let's make it easier for all of us. Don't mess with my friends! The ship's damage is critical. I strongly advise that you use the nearby repair bay. Are you telling me this bay is still operational? That seems to be the case.
repairs complete. Let's get the hell out of here while we still can. It appears that your clone counterpart has extricated himself from his predicament and could be airborne very soon. That was it. You blew your last chance. I may as well leave you here to rot. It's parsecs from the heart of the DMZ, and without my wormhole tech, you're as good as buried here. If you ever make it back to Cedo, you'll find nothing but ashes and dust where your base used to be. Have fun dying slowly in the knowledge that your friends will die before you. Damn it. We better act fast. Hive, where are we exactly? We are currently in the Keone system, which is centered around a neutron star of the same name. The system contains several smaller planetoids and is considered uninhabitable due to the residual radiation from the resident star's relatively recent supernova. Your clone counterpart was correct in his assertion that we may be stuck, as I detect no operational jump gates here. Another means of travel will be necessary. I was afraid you were going to say that. Carla, do you read me? How does it go, Nama? I need your help urgently for getting me out of where I am right now. Are there any locations close to my position where I could construct a spatial bypass? No, not at your location. I would need a little more data. Send me some scans from other locations nearby, Toka, so I can analyze them. Okay. I'll explore the nearby planetoids in order to get you the information you need. Can you put me through to Delia or Ben? Adam, what's your status? Was the mission a success? Things didn't quite pan out as expected. It seems my clone counterpart knows the base's location, and the Elite Squad could be headed straight for you, trying to obliterate you. The mining fleet isn't going anywhere for now. But where it all went wrong is when Hawk arrived on the scene to apprehend Blakemore, and the Elites appeared out of nowhere. They've been fitted out with some kind of Okar wormhole tech. From what I can gather, that's what their mission to the Byron system was about. What can we do? I'm not sure this place could withstand an assault. Mount whatever defenses you can until I get back. Brief the others to make urgent preparations and muster any firepower they can. Ghost made it out with Hawk's Mole Tammy, and they'll hopefully get to be with you soon. She'll have some more help there. We're in pretty deep, aren't we? Ben, now more than ever, you need to protect the people we've given a home to. Please, I can't have them die because of me. I'll do my best. Here. Data unavailable. Most likely a clone carrier left over from the Okar Wars. Hey, Hive. If you knew each of my earlier iterations, what can you tell me about the particular one I'm up against? I can recall all of your versions, but to distinguish them characteristically is beyond my capabilities. I guess all I really need to know is that now it's just me and him. appears to be rich in resources.
power to Stardust.
arrived at one of the highlighted locations. How does this look to you? No, this is not a suitable place. You need to move on. Damn it! I really don't need these setbacks right now. Adam to base. Any visitors yet? Any updates? Ghost and Tammy have arrived. No sign of any GNB yet, thankfully. Eduardo thinks he has a way of getting the on-site artillery up and running again. The turrets? They look beyond repair last time I inspected them. That sure sounds hopeful. There are reserve turrets under the surface that could be put to use. If we could figure out how to link a power supply to them. Seems like you've got the situation under control. We need you here, Adam. We can't mount a proper defense without you. I'm working on getting back as soon as I can. in this area.
receiving a vague reading on a cloaked container. Adding to your HUD. for your endeavors. didn't make it far at all. I suppose I should be thankful for my comparatively long and eventful life. This clone version refused to comply to the mission objective. I was left with no option but to terminate assistance. Wait, you mean you killed me, Hive? Certainly not. I ended compliance. Quite a different thing. What you see here should illustrate what happens to a craft without real intelligence on board. see a good place for a rip here. It's not your fault. I'll keep looking.
updates. Those turrets will need to be connected to the power supplies manually. I'm worried G&B might be on us at any moment. Just hang tight. I'm working on getting back to lend a hand. Tareen, Alec, and Ghost all have their ships battle ready. Tareen has become suddenly quite religious and is chanting some kind of prayer for victory. Yeah, I think he rediscovered his calling with our visit to the Emissary. The fate of the Comet means everything to him. How are the others holding up? Everyone is knuckling down to the tasks at hand. I think a few are looking forward to the fight ahead. vision. Patch me through the dock. Give me news. Hey, Delia. I need to consult with you on a medical matter. I've been experiencing flashbacks lately. They're becoming more intense. I had them before, but ever since I teamed up with Dax and things got put into motion, they've been getting worse. Like they're catching up with me. Possibly triggered by stress. I'm not sure what I could prescribe. Hang in there, Adam. It's your strength that's carrying us all right now. I'm sorry I can't be of more help, but this sounds to me like an inner conflict, which only you can resolve. Meds won't help. Will you at least keep me updated if it happens again? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Doc. Uh, I've got a good feeling about this location, uh, tingling in my bones. How does it look to you, Kala? Yes, Clico, there is a rip. But it doesn't work like that yet. Just what I need. What's the problem? I came across these ancient structures before. After defeating the wardens that were guarding them, a, a portal would open and transport me somewhere else. Maybe that's the broken rip. That would be a level assumption, and one to explore. Although you know I disapprove greatly of this experimentation. Well, tough. Let's see if I can summon an ancient warden and make something happen. Time is running out. down there? One of the rune blocks seems to be missing. I better look for it if I want to release that warden.
the missing cube. Now I just need to get it back to that little chamber. the warden. Where did it go? It seems to have moved to that lens and activated it. Let's see where it needs to be pointed. Next. 
ancient soul to rest. and check if a portal is opened. Your actions do not appear to have resulted in the desired effect. No portal has materialized. This is the right spot for a spatial bypass? Yes, Clico, but something is still interfering with the connection. Maybe we can modify that. Okay. How would I go about that? I'll send you instructions of everything we need. Let's see. Great. Got everything I need. It seems to be working. Guys, I'll be right there. Visitors. We just picked them up. Looks like G and B scouts. Obviously the advance party. Let me take care of them. We're way out in the open now in any case. Look who's back. Dude, what happened back there? I thought we had the situation totally under control. So did I. 
Whatever new tech the elites got their hands on changed everything. Hawk and I were completely caught sideways. So they got her, but how did you escape? Long story short, they tried to recruit me to their team, but I made a break for it. We don't have long before they throw their full force at us. What's the status on those turrets? I managed to reactivate three of the submerged turrets. Although, unfortunately, the power flow is interrupted and they will need to be hooked up manually. For this, I brought the energy sphere dispenser below the hangar back online. Now we only need to carry energy spheres to the turrets to power them back up. I can manage that. The artillery is quite energy hungry. One energy sphere is only sufficient for a limited amount of rounds. So they may need to be recharged continuously during a prolonged engagement. Dude! Your talking man machine is amazing! Where can I get one? Eduardo isn't a toy, Alec. G&B could be here any minute. Let's get right to it. Tareen, Alec, Ghost, you guys ready your ships for imminent battle. I am now more ready than I have ever been. I was born ready. I'm so ready, I was ready before I even knew what was going on! <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's do this. Asteroid to pieces. I need to intercept them fast. 
Just fire.
We're not done for yet. Keep up the great work. Torpedoes incoming. You behave defiantly, which is all the more reason I should annihilate you all. To think I used to work for you. Disengagement. All units return to base. Scrap! My engine's overheating. I can't jump. Request immediate assistance. Your ship, your problem, Callahan. Fix it yourself and get back to base. Hey, wait. You can't just leave me here. I can't help but see the poetic justice in this. Remember when you left us in the lurch, Callahan? Whatever. You suck, and I wish I would have known a lot sooner how much you sucked. I want to send you to your death before you get any delusions. I'm giving you this chance to walk away, Callahan. You're nothing without G&B. Without that little bit of power they give you, you ain't worth scrap. You're pathetic. Screw you and the shit can you rode in on. Watch out. The artillery. Eduardo, turn off the auto lock. He'll be missed. Blakemore's men have taken a hammering, but they could return at any time. We need to preempt that. We need to hit them first. It took the words right out of my mouth. It would seem the obvious thing to do, all right. Wonder where my clone counterpart was in all this. I suspect up to much worse. Let's meet inside. How's it looking? We're holding up, but not sure if we'd be able to survive another assault like that. You reckon a counterattack is feasible? There are enough people in the DMZ having serious issues with GMB. I've been thinking, if we can get the miners on Vesna on our side, we could easily turn things in our favor. What about this guy? You sure about him? There's something about him that reminds me of my younger self. I don't know, maybe I was that arrogant before I figured people out a little. He could be a big help. Dude, if I was even 10% interested, believe me, you know. Does that mean I'm in with a 9% chance? You show respect to the people on this base or you're out before you know it. Okay, okay. Uh, I get it. Like the males of Ulog Kshtok. Fascinating. An example of humanoid mating rituals never observed by an Okar before. Ha! This is nothing! You should see how the Horak do it! <laughs> Listen up. I didn't exactly plan to still be here. Like an old friend of mine used to say, plans are for fools. We're about as random a group as the Beltagrades has to offer. We come from all different backgrounds, all different races. Some of us are outcasts, some are screw-ups, some are lost with no way home, and some told they don't belong. But we all found our way to each other, and we all belong here. We have this base thanks to a man named Dax Bashar. He died before most of you arrived, but he taught me a lot about trust and esteem. That's our strength, the respect we have for each other. Because the enemy we're up against has no regard for anything but profit 
and power. Let's teach them a lesson and make the DMZ a better place. Are you guys in? Hell, you know I'm totally behind you! Let's kick some GMB butt! It is the righteous thing. Without the Commissioner's cruiser to back us up, we don't have the firepower to take on Blakemore and his elites alone. But we've got friends. Before we head to Vesna Mining Colony, it's time to call in some favors. I have a feeling Officer Shaw at Neftis Plains will be on our side. It's well known he's had issues with the way G&B has been running things. A high-ranking figure like him could persuade the G&B miners to switch sides against Blakemore. I should start with him. I'll pay him a visit. I could have a word with the Coalition. They told me only to come back if the cluster was about to implode. I think this situation counts. Anyway, they love me around there. Good idea, Alec. Bet Ming Young would be on our side. Marie Devent has a pretty decent rig and might be persuaded to lend a hand, if I ask nicely. And Cato at Prescott would surely contribute if it meant less regulation for his operations. While me and Ella go wrangle support, all of you go get your ships battle ready. Once the pieces are in place, we'll need to move fast. There'll only be one shot at this. We'll have to strike hard. What if they come back while you're gone? The Elite Squad took a hammering. Blakemore's carrier was banged up pretty bad. I'm thinking they're not gonna come looking for another fight too soon. But stay sharp all the same. Be ready for anything. I'll be as quick as possible. Marie, do you read me? Loud and clear. How's it going, bucko? Not so great. I don't know if you're aware of the situation, but we may be facing another war with the Okar if we don't stop G&B from dragging us into it. There have been signs of something afoot, and G&B movements and a raid I heard too. Are you mixed up in all this? Let me level with you. Oscar Blakemore has gone insane and is jeopardizing everyone in the DMZ. I'm the guy trying to put a stop to his plans. <laughs> I always knew you had it in you, from the first time I slapped eyes on you. I'm trying to enlist all the help I can get to launch an assault on Vesna Mining Colony. Well, any new conflict with the Okar would be the end of my business. I'm assuming that you want me to lend a hand with my Flying Duchess? If you're willing. Sonny, I would relish the chance to put the boot into G&B. Count me in. I knew I could rely on you. Thanks, Marie. When I send the call, we'll assemble above Vesna.
always tell when I'm about to be assaulted by one of your puerile postulations, as these are usually preceded by a hey, hive. Maybe I was going to ask an insightful and thoughtful question. How could you know? Go on, then. Are there any instances of Okar and Horag interbreeding? And if so, what are they called? Okag Horror? Good grief. Let's hope Shaw is as open to discussion as Marie de Vint was. Mr. Roslin, how nice to have you visit us again. I believe this is more than a social call. You'd be right about that. I need to have a word with you about your boss. Oscar Blakemore? He has long forgotten that our outpost exists at all. Supplies haven't reached us in eons. He has been preoccupied with other things, causing quite a bit of trouble with the Okar. Let me fill you in. No need. We may be cut off from the center of affairs, but we're not completely blind to the events unfolding. I have been picking up bits and pieces from GMB internal communications, and have registered the rising tensions with the Okar. There's quite a degree of nervousness among my colleagues about this. There was also a recent raid on Vesna. I can put two and two together myself. Blakemore is undoubtedly the root of all this trouble. He's the worst thing to have happened to this company. And you are somehow involved. Yes, I was part of that raid. We failed. Now Blakemore has a fleet commissioner hostage. This is indeed serious. I'm waiting, Mr. Roslin, for you to get to the point. I think you might be the voice of reason in all this. You could talk some sense to the miners on Vesna and bring them around. That would be mutiny. However, Blakemore does need to be removed from his post and Okar assets left intact. There is a moment in every man's life where purpose becomes clear, and you have brought mine to my door. I shan't take much time to reflect on your proposal, because it is clearly the right thing to do. What do you need of me? See, that's what I like about you, Shaw. You're straight up old school. I believe you're the most decent guy in GNB and will want to see things righted. Get together whatever fighting force you can muster and meet me above Vesna. If possible, Use those GMB internal comms to tell the miners to down tools and stay out of the fray. You are a true man of action, Mr. Roslin. I must say, I have developed a real admiration for you. The admiration is mutual. than I anticipated. Ben, how are things at base? All clear. Preparations underway. Good to hear. I have Shaw on our side. 
Heading to see Kato now. Hey Adam, I've got fantastic news! Ice cream related, or is the Coalition going to help? The second thing, not only that, they're even going to send their flagship, a drone carrier. Wow, Alec, you really are a legend. Wasn't that a given? All the pieces are nearly in place. Get ready to rendezvous above Vesna. I still got a call to make. You got it, buddy! that you are due a regular psych exam. Are you kidding? Why? It is standard fleet protocol. Yeah, but we're not in the fleet anymore, Hive. We're free agents now, and off Eternus Hook. I thought it might be useful to administer a test in any case. It could be that you are unfit to pilot. Nice try, Hive. I think I'm quite capable. Thanks for your concern, though. Is here. Let's go shopping.
might need to pull some extra leverage with Kato. He'll need to see his own advantage in all of this. I doubt you would be able to bargain with such a gangster any other way. I'll appeal to his better senses. Hi, Marianne. I'd like a word with Mr. Cato on an urgent matter. You have been expected. Please proceed to the penthouse suite. Ah, Adam! Say, have you ever tried Gilbert Guppies? Mmm, they are delicious! Uh, no. I can't say that I have. Actually, I've got bigger fish to fry right now. Oh, yeah? And who would that be? Oscar Blakemore. Uh-huh. What about him? Would I be correct in presuming that opening up a new conflict with the Okar would be bad for your business? That would be an understatement. But why present hypotheticals? It would be the most likely outcome if Blakemore carries out his plans. I always knew that guy was going to cause big problems. But why would he go provoking any imbalance of the delicate equilibrium in our beloved DMZ? He wants to claim the region as his own personal fiefdom. He has plans to make it an autonomous entity, under his direction. Now that really pisses me off. You should know there's only one boss in these parts, and that's me. I know how guys like this operate. I've met enough opportunists in my time. If you give them a finger, they'll take your whole goddamn arm, and keep taking. Listen, I've no reason to distrust you, Adam. You've grown on me. But this sounds like it's even out of my league. I ain't in the position to take on something the scale of GMB. I've put together an alliance, Cato. GMB needs a change in leadership, and it needs a push to do so. I believe that if you join us, that will give us the strategic and tactical edge we need. We need firepower. We need more fighters. Wow. And to think the first time you wandered into my penthouse, you were just a nobody with an attitude. I'll tell you what. Let me do my due diligence. I'll ask around about the state of things. And I'll get back to you as soon as I've made a decision. Don't take long, Kato. If you're not part of this, your name might not be worth much in the future. This is an opportunity. Choose your sides wisely. Oh, I get you, Adam. I have to say, I'm impressed. And a little unnerved by your methods of persuasion. Necessarily involve the Bovis. I am first and foremost a free citizen of the Beltagrades, and express my solidarity as such. I might be of technical assistance to your coming engagement. I bet anything you could contribute, Pango, will prove invaluable. Expect to hear from me. I will be in the background, plunging for intel, pulling strings. Okay, everybody. Let's get this show started. Gather in orbit above Vesna Mining Colony. Once we've arrived, there's no turning back. Let's do this thing! The Coalition is right behind you. We shall proceed immediately. See you there!
The righteous moment of judgment has arrived. Yeah! Hey, Hive. What's your stance on predetermination? Well, I knew you were going to say that. For what? How could you possibly have known that that's what I was about to say? Because all things have happened in each instance of every alternate reality. Odds are that this moment was bound to occur at some point. Oh, I see. Very clever. I bet you were programmed to give that response whenever predetermination arises. I knew you were going to say that, too. Like Marita Vint got here first. There's no way we could have concealed an operation this big. Hey, she's taking a hell of a lot of fire. Marie, how are you holding up? Receiving a bit of a brutal beating, to be honest. I brought them out of their nest for you, at least. Everyone, spread out and draw some of that heat off the Duchess. We are engaging. Am I too late to the party? Terra. So Cato decided to lead in. The old man sends his regards. He's been drawing up blueprints for a new casino for this place already. Well, I can talk to Shaw about that later. So, your uncle sent you in his place? Yep. Said a little battle experience would put some hair on my chest. Good man, Daryl. I'm certain it will.
sentiment. We are doing the right thing, and I believe we shall succeed. I wish every day of the DMC was like this. Yeah, what the Horax said. Sounds like all you guys have the right spirit. Defenses will end your little adventure. Give up, Lakemore, it's over. My carrier might be grounded, but it will be operational very soon. And in the meantime, we've been busy preparing for your return. Tower. Everyone else, support the coalition in their quadrant. I can't help but notice something's missing from this scene. The Commissioner's cruiser? Oh, uh, yeah. Means they must have cracked the codes for commandeering it. Worrying, but we got more immediate problems right now.
flush out Blakemore. I would discourage you from firing on the tower, as my intel indicates it also contains the holding cell where Commissioner Hawk is detained. Oh, scrap. I hope she's okay. on you and is threatening to destroy our fragile peace with the Ogar. I have come with an alliance of selfless DMZ citizens to remove Blakemore from his post. I am appealing to you to cease combat operations and assist us in occupying the base. I offer my personal assurance that there will be no repercussions against you for any prior actions. It's working! Some of the fighters are turning away! Shaw, your voice of reason is what they needed to hear. It was your authority that cracked it. Can we get word through to keep the Commissioner safe? I'm presently in dialogue with a group of foremen, and this has already been conveyed. Enough of this! how we can disable that thing? We need to act fast. We could cut off the power supply to take it offline. I'll mark the locations of power units you need to knock out. That should buy us some time so we can enter the control room and shut off the turret from inside. Thanks, Tammy. I'll do that. Okay. I better stay undercover and only move in between sniper shots. Tareen, get ready and wait for my signal. As soon as the turret is disabled, land on the platform close to the tower and infiltrate the control room. You can count on me, Adam. On to the next one. You and your associates are finished. Roslyn is already 
on his way to the comet. It will be blasted into a million pieces across its course, creating a sparkling field of viridium for the plucking. How is he? The Commissioner's cruiser? Precisely. It left long before you arrived, brimming with mining torpedoes. Scrap. We need to act fast. Okay, I better stay undercover and only move in between sniper shots. Tareen, get ready and wait for my signal. As soon as the turret is disabled, land on the platform close to the tower and infiltrate the control room. You can count on me, Adam. You and your associates are finished. Roslyn is already on his way to the Comet. It will be blasted into a million pieces across its course, creating a sparkling field of viridium for the plucking. How is he? The Commissioner's cruiser. Precisely. It left long before you arrived, brimming with mining torpedoes. Scrap. We need to act fast. On to the next one.
the tower. I got you covered. We've secured the control room. No signs of Blakemore. The rat must have left the sinking ship. We could turn off the turret now, or use it to our advantage. Hive, do you register any life forms on the carrier? The carrier appears to be unmanned. Ben, concentrate fire on the carrier. This will be the last nail in the coffin for Blakemore. With pleasure. an electrical activity under the control tower. I'll go check it out. Looks like a pimped out Tetra miner. He's gonna weaponize one of the damn things. I'm trapped in here with it! Glad we've had this opportunity for a little intimate discussion, just you and me. Blakemore, you're desperate. You should know when you've lost. Surrender now and you'll get a fair trial. Oh, I still hold the future of the DMZ in my hands, Roslyn. You are a mere interruption. I'm grateful for this chance to wipe you from existence. With you dead, I can resume my original plan. You've lost it, Blakemore. Everyone is against you now! Can't disable the shield. Give it time. Don't worry, Ben. I got this.
on this seat, Blakemore. for just two craft. Mine and yours, I suppose. Nothing bigger. If we can't handle it, no one can. Come on, there's not a moment to lose. System. Pretty far out. There's the comet, Eshahar. Protecting that sacred rock is what this was all about. I'm getting a reading on the cruiser. Our transit worked. It's dead ahead. I'm registering several more objects ahead of it, moving at high velocity. Damn it. Mining torpedoes. It's already fired them off. There's no way we'll catch those torpedoes. We'll need to board the craft to abort them. Any chance of reasoning with this guy? You should know him better than anyone else. I suppose I should try. Hey, I know you can hear me, so listen up. Blakemore is dead, but I guess you already know that. I know there's part of me in you. If I can care about the fate of the DMZ and its inhabitants, I know you can too. You have nothing to gain from blasting the comet. Nobody does. Oh, I hear you, but I don't care. The DMZ's future has been set. Come on, this is crazy! Just call off the torpedoes, and you can still walk away! Oh, I'm to believe you. Uh, there's still a chance of redemption. Please. Ben, let's disable those thrusters. We have to slow down the cruiser so I can dock. Roger. He's trying to escape. We can't let him get away. Hive, can you overclock the engines again? As you wish. Overclocking engines. Disabling devices. It would come down to this. Just us two Roslin clones remaining. Of course it had to. The cosmos is cruel. You're free from Blakemore now. There's no need to be so fatalistic. This is the only path remaining. The DMZ needs to change. And I'm going to be the one to alter the face of this cursed place. Ben, I think he's out of his senses. Not sure reasoning is gonna work. He sounds more than a little derailed, all right. Barricaded himself in. Didn't get these upgrades for nothing. Cover me. Of 
Okay, on three, two, one. Damn it! Can't disengage the missiles. Needs his DNA scan. Ben, no! Ironic that you'd be the cause of my downfall. You were the only one I showed mercy to. Missiles will reach their target in two minutes. What do you gain by destroying the comet now? I'd rather leave behind chaos than nothing. You chose the wrong side. I should never have given you the chance. You know, I saw something of myself in you. Now that just makes me laugh. Ben. Ben. Missiles will reach their target in one minute. Don't do this! Stop the missiles and we can both walk out of this alive! Oh, we're long past that. Life is short enough, haven't you learned? Or have you been spoiled with too many chances? This is our last ride. The end of the Rosslyn line! Missiles aborted. Damn you. Was it worth dying for? Saving a bunch of jerks who will never even know. You tell me. You're finally awake. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit sore, but fine. What's this doing here? Some token of the Commissioner's appreciation? She was quite happy with how things turned out. Tell me she's been good on her word. Oh yes, like a fairy godmother. The fleet won't touch us now, and the borders are open. We can go or stay. Our lives are ours again. <sighs> you know, for someone who's experienced death I don't know how many times, I really thought that was the end of the line. Yes, about that, Adam. There is something you should know. Just say it. You took several hits to most of your vital parts. We had to use donor organs to keep you alive. It was very fortunate that there was a matching donor nearby. Otherwise, your body may have rejected the new parts. Do you understand what I'm saying, Adam? Say I failed to see the irony. I suppose I should be thankful to be one again. Ah, they've come to see you. Let's see it again. You sure it's not too soon? Speak for yourself. You got more holes in you than I did. Yeah, but my only remaining vitals are up top. So what now? 
I suppose there's always new horizons to explore. And with Shaw in charge of G&B, they won't be a problem. At least for now. Can't rest on your laurels even for a moment, huh? We got something to protect. And I have my doubts there'll be nothing left to do. The DMZ is always full of surprises. You could say that again. Adam, I have news. I have been studying the ancient rifts. Eduardo and I have found a way to calibrate them. We will make it more stable. Maybe I can still find a way home. To, uh, Ulang? Yes, Clico. To Ulang Thradorka. We believe the rifts can be stabilized by fine-tuning with the concentrated ancient energy remains gathered from the ancient controlled vessels. I think I've come across a few of those. I named them Tears of the Mad because, uh, you know, I just thought it sounded cool. If you use them with bypass, we will have more control over the ancient rifts. Yes. We will probably be able to create rifts that better conform to our rules. Well, it's worth trying out. By the way, Kala, I should compliment you on your language skills. Yes, Eduardo was a good teacher, Clico. Well, maybe you can tell us more about your homeworlds when you get the chance. I would be very glad, yes.